Hi everyone, welcome to my day. And I'll tell you why I'm smiling is just as I pressed the record button, my iPhone 6 uh, notification went off. And I always find it funny when I'm watching other people's videos or indeed you're watching my videos and some of the comments come through saying your phone went off and I looked at my phone and I find myself doing that more and more often nowadays when I'm out and about people get notifications or somebody rings them and I reach for my phone you know it's a natural thing to do but it just makes me laugh when my phone went off but anyway it's been a really busy day for me today I tried something new in the studio I moved some bits and pieces around moved one of the desks around and tried a new presenting style for my videos and in fact the first video you'll see this in is my iPad Air 2 review now that's gone up on my patreon page for early access for the patrons that support that particular campaign and it go up on the main YouTube channel probably by the end of the week and it worked out really well very very pleased with the uh, overall end result of it it just looks really good um, I, what I did basically was apart from moving one of the desks around I also set up a couple of cameras instead of just the one camera uh, as well as the regular studio lights and I also used a different microphone instead of using my lapel microphone I used my Rode Stereo Video Mic Pro but I positioned it very differently so instead of on top of the camera I put an extension lead on it and positioned it off camera so it was nearer to me but out of shot and uh, it sounded really good very very pleased with it the acoustics on it were really good not too echoey uh, sounded very natural as well nice amount of detail in the audio so I'm just really pleased with how that actually ended up looking the video worked really well and also the multicam editing on Final Cut Pro 10 uh, first time I'd really experimented with it properly and it's so so good very good indeed really pleased with the results a little bit tricky a longer edit of course to check everything uh, and I just I'm really pleased with it so I'm looking forward to obviously my feedback from my patrons and then when it goes up on the main channel that you're watching this on I'm looking forward to the feedback from you guys and girls as well so anyway apart from that busy busy day it's now almost 5 p.m. and I was really hoping and expecting because it has been shipped for my Google Nexus 9 to actually be delivered to the studio so I can give you my initial unboxing and first impressions and then I'm going to be working on an iPad Air 2 versus Google Nexus 9 comparison review or video not review and that's primarily because I've been asked to do that by quite a few viewers now but it hasn't been delivered yet so I'm really frustrated I've just seen somebody I know walk past they didn't see me <laughs> but anyway I digress it wasn't delivered it could still be delivered today there's another what hour before couriers normally don't deliver after six o'clock so I'm just hoping that it still comes today if not it should be tomorrow and then I'll do that initial unboxing and definitely get that up on the channel before the end of the week you know because I want to share with you my impressions on that I'm very excited to to test the new Nexus device I didn't test the Nexus 10 um, I did the 7 um, I did the new 7 but never did the Nexus 10 and this is sort of in between the two sizes so totally looking forward to that so I've had to switch cameras this is actually now the iPhone 6 recording because my battery ran out on the Sony but anyway I started to say that I was actually also looking forward to the uh, Nexus 6 being available in the UK now at the time of recording this it's showing on the UK store but it isn't available to order it says currently unavailable in your country which is a bit of a shame because people in America are already receiving their devices now unless I was mistaken as well it was only showing the 32 gigabyte model but I didn't look at the page properly so 64 gigabyte might have been just one of those clickable options but definitely not available yet the rumors are that it's going to be available to pre-order around about the 19th to 21st of November I'm hoping that it goes on pre-order sooner than that so you can actually get it in your hands on the 19th or 21st and I'm looking forward to it for a lot of reasons one it's a nice new device it's really good performance great specifications not so sure about the screen size because I didn't get on too well with the iPhone 6 Plus 
but I'm looking forward to the raw, native, sort of untouched Google Android experience, and of course, the latest version 5 Lollipop as well, and all of the new design, uh, sort of user interface and everything. It looks really very, very nice indeed. Not saying I'm going to switch, not by any means, because I am in the Apple ecosystem, but I must admit, I am getting fed up with iOS 8. It's not fantastic, even though they fixed a lot of things, still the rotation issues there, and there are a few other things that I'm not too happy about, you know, so it's a difficult decision to, to switch platforms when I'm so used to using my iPhone. I love my iPhone as well. I still think the camera is the best available, but we will see. When the Nexus 6 comes, we'll see if I change my mind and if I do change to the Nexus 6 as my daily driver. I've also been interested in the Note 4, but I think the only thing that puts me off the Note 4 is TouchWiz. You know, if that was just raw Android without any changes to it, that would have probably been ordered and in my hands already. But anyway, that's it for today. It's been a really busy day. I hope you've all had a fantastic day as well. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all again tomorrow.